All right, shoes on, Mr. Wait, wait, don't. Oh, geez. I'm cleaning it. I'm here. not. Kiddo? How we doing in there, buddy? I'm sorry I just barged in like that to your personal space. Shouldn't have. Can I come in for a second? Isaiah, is it okay if I come in? Yeah. Yes, then? Come in? Yeah. I didn't see anything. Listen, kiddo. What you were just doing, which I had no right to interrupt without knocking, and I'm sorry, but what you were doing was completely natural and normal and, and to be expected. And I just wanted to come in, not to make it weird, but just to make sure that you weren't feeling strange. There's nothing to feel strange about. It's something that everybody does. And everyone's entitled to do their... Do you do it? <sighs> well, everybody does. So you do do it then? I mean, it's common, yeah. It's something that's natural to do for all people. And all people deserve to have their boundaries respected. And that's where I crossed the line. So, um... Sorry if this is weird, but I just wanted to make sure you weren't feeling ugly and like, like this was ugly. And hide it under the rug and let it become something taboo between us. You know what taboo is? Yes. <laughs> well, now it won't be. Because we talked about it. And it's out in the open. Okay. I am sorry if this is weird. It's not. Oh, good. Shouldn't be. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Dad. I love you. I love you back. Straight ahead, please. Wonderful. And we're a happy little family with a great big smile. Fantastic. Uh, and how about a smile from Dad this time? Was I not smiling? Oh, were you? Uh... Oh, sorry. I thought I was. Then let's just have another big one, please. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> okay, looking good. And now if I could just get a big smile from the two happy families. Family. Sorry. Today we're one happy family. <laughs> Got a little crowd all of a sudden. That's the way I like it. <laughs> you see my cufflinks? Yeah, we can see those, no problem. You think? Because I could turn more toward the camera. <laughs> That's what we think, Bobby. Do we all say cheese? You say cheese, you say taco, you would say whatever you'd like, but if you could just give me the teeniest, weeniest little <laughs> I mean, you know, any dude that wears a tuxedo okay. like that is gonna break some hearts. Uh, we need gold break some hearts. What do you think happened to me? <laughs> Have you seen where they went, by the way? Well, Mary Ann was over there. We were just talking. I think I may... Isaiah? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I think I may go find him. Okay, then. See you later. All righty. Hi. Did you like that cake? Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, have another piece. Okay. So good to I'll talk see. to you later. Okay. All right. Come on. Oh, <laughs> Have you seen us No, I haven't. All right. See you in a minute. Hi, you. You are such a little...
Honey, would you go get your father? Dinner's up. Shall I help set the table? Oh, that's okay. Everything's under control. <laughs> Time for din dins. Here we go. It's hot. Mmm. You want one of these? Okay, I'm okay. They're Belgian. I know. Thank you. I'm okay. You know, these aren't for me, Dad. I got them for you. I'll have one. Well, they're Dad's, so you're gonna have to ask him first. Pass the potatoes, please. Would you like one? Oh, maybe later. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Biscuits?
Hey. I, I forgot that toilet was broken. I'm just going to use yours. No, that's my... Wait a minute. You, you, your mother's in there. I can wait. Don't look so scared. I tell you, Dad, from a poet, I expect more eloquence. I'm sorry. What for? Hmm? For nothing? For what I wrote. What you wrote? You mean your little autobiography? All 300 pages of it? I love you, Dad, but this makes it hard. And I'm burning this. And if I see another copy lying around, it's going to be more than a slap on the wrist. I promise you. You know, I think I'm just going to help and stay here. You're going to what? Just to help clean. I mean, this is such a mess we're leaving them with. Uh, it's going to be okay. I'm just going to come home a little bit later, okay? That's all. A person who wakes up in the morning and says, today's going to be awful, I just know it. Well, that person is just about guaranteed to have an awful day. In fact, he'll do the legwork to make it awful. Through the power of his attitude, he'll prevent every potentially good thing on his path from reaching its potential. And if good things do happen, well, he'll be looking in the other direction. Because what he's done is he's committed himself to the prison of negativity. Now, on the other side of this coin, a person who wakes up and greets the day with enthusiasm and positivity will see the good things on his path. Because through the power of... Dad?
170 milligrams, people. Do I have to get on my hands and knees here? I've only got two hands, doctor. So use them. This poor bastard's gonna die on the flat. We don't work miracles and fast. The right ventricle's dilated. Suction. Quick. Jesus, he needs oxygen. We're not oxygenating, Maggie. Resume recompression. Charge to 15. And what's that? Another book of yours? Are you asking me to get upset? I'm not asking you anything. Well, I'm asking you. I'm just leaving. This is pathetic, Dad. If you want me to apologize, I'll apologize. And I am sorry about what happened last night. And I did go too far. But what about you? Am I totally alone here? Am I just this abusive monster and you're some sad, helpless victim? Or does it take two to tango? Because I think it does. And if I've done anything, you've done it with me. Don't shake your fucking head at me! Everything I've ever done has been for you, and for you, and for you, and to what end? I didn't ask for this. This is your thing, something you started. But I'm here now, and I'm in it, and I've given myself, and I've accepted you completely. But you are not just my father. You're my friend. You're my best friend. And maybe we can just agree that that's a beautiful thing, and not something to be perverted and corrupted and mutilated by your warped and confused conscience. You've always sabotaged everything good in your life. You've been shitting all over this from the minute we started. You never gave it a chance to be good. But you can sleep with that cold bitch in that loveless bed. And you can write your backwards book about your backward son, but not a single word about what you've done. It's just love, Dad. And that is big. And that is scary. But there's being scared, and there's being a coward. And right now, you're, you're breaking my heart.
I want to ask you something, Isaiah. How long have you been standing there? How are you holding up? Why was your father crying when he drove you home from prom night? I'm sorry? On your prom night, when he brought you back home. What about it? He was crying. Was he? He was crying, and he wouldn't look at me. Are you being serious? He locked himself in the bathroom, and he just cried, and he cried all night with the sink running. I don't remember that at all. Is that when it started? That was 10 years ago. How am I supposed to remember what happened one night? Prom night? Which was 10 years ago. That's a pretty long time to remember what your father did at a specific time on a specific night. It, it started earlier. I... I know that. When... when did it start? Mom, you're emotional. I'm emotional. We are not Stop ourselves. It. You don't even know what you're trying to say. I know exactly what I am trying to say. Well, I don't. But I think it's pretty ugly what you seem to be saying, and I think you would agree if you could hear yourself. <laughs> you monster. You killed your own father. How could you? What? Wait. Get off of me! I'm warning you, Mom. You don't warn me! <laughs> I loved him better than you ever did. You sick! Ow! Sick! Ow! Sick! Ow! Sick! Ow! Sick! Ow! Sick!